And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Leona. This is going to be our next uh, donation deck. This was a really tough one to build. This was um, somebody just wanted to uh, see my take on a Yasuo and Leona deck. So taking a look at our deck, you're going to notice we're going to have a lot of one ofs in here because this was one that it, I took a while trying to build because this was a it's so one where you have a whole lot of options for cards to play in Targon and Ionia in this kind of deck, but none of them are, like, amazing. A lot of them are just, okay, like, th that would be good, right? Like, a Nopify, yeah, that would be good. But do we want, like, three Nopifies? Not really, right? Because there's going to be times where Nopify doesn't do anything. Sleepy Trouble Bubble. It is a stun card for Yasuo, and our deck is really lacking on removal, and so you can spend five mana to kill, like, an Aphelios. That's something our deck's really lacking on, of ways to kill Aphelios. Um, but is that something that we want? Not really that much, right? So it, it's there, right? So same with, like, Sunblessed Vigor. Um, looks like I don't have Pale Cascade in here, but Sunblessed Vigor to protect our champions. You know, a Hush, a Bastion, Deny, um, a Deep Meditation for some card advantage, and then, like, our different top-end cards that, you know, can be useful at different points on the curve. These aren't, none of these are, like, cards I want a, a bunch of, and so we just have kind of one of each. And so hopefully we have them at the times that we that we need them. If we have it, like if it's a if it's a matchup where like Nopify won't really do anything, then we also have two Spacey Sketchers. And so the Spacey Sketchers are going to allow us to kind of take like these one ofs and turn them into powerful Celestial cards if we don't really need them in the situation. So maybe some Blessed Figure is really good and we need it. Maybe we don't really need it and we can discard it to Sp Spacey Sketcher. Yeah, so we have we have some options there. And now Spacey Sketcher is going to be important in here for. Um, not only for that, turn our uh, cards that we don't really need into powerful Celestial cards, but also like the most important Celestial card that for us to hit is going to be Crescent Strike that stuns to um, enemies, so we get double stun. That's important for Yasuo. But then we're also playing Homecoming in here, this new card. Recall an ally unit or landmark to recall an enemy unit or landmark, and Homecoming and Spacey Sketcher really fit well together where we're going to be able to um, put our spacey sketcher back in our hand and be able to replay it um, and get more things um so i think that so that's a good combination so that's that's another reason why i wanted to play spacey sketcher and find room for it besides that we got a good amount of daybreak stuff like solari priestess another good card to homecoming um, but then even like these cheaper daybreak cards soldier shield bearer we can homecoming these things also and get more daybreak for leveling up leona um robin um we can even daybreak this or we can even homecoming this thing and play it again that costs a lot of mana but we do get an additional daybreak card if we do that a couple of sunbursts because like i said we were missing on we don't have very much removal obviously we have concussive palm and the concussive palm plus homecoming that's obviously a, a pretty good combination as well and then we just have a, a little smattering of top end so we'll see how it works with yasuo in ranked we'll go play our five games here we go This is different. Maokai, Thresh. Maokai. Alright, not going to keep a 9 mana card. And I guess I keep the rest. The Homecoming does help level up Yasuo faster, right? Because we need 5 stunner recalls. And we have, with the 1 mana soldier, we can basically make Homecoming cost like a 5 mana card by bouncing the soldier and then replaying it. So this looks like looks like a deep deck, but instead of playing Nautilus, they're playing Thresh. That's what this looks like. Unyielding light. Devotion to battle. Yep, so this looks like no Nautilus sea monsters. Corruption everywhere. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Yeah. 
And I'm attacking it with everything, of course. Okay, let's see. They have Gohard in there. And Unspeakable Horror. So I'm playing the Concussive Palm to do two damage so that the Homecoming can do the other two damage. So we can use the two of these together to kill the Maokai. No cure, I'm sorry. And now that's three for Yasuo. We look to be in a good spot. But they're about to get a big sea monster. Hmm. Give me your shower. Are they okay? So they're not going to be unless they play Jettison here. And here's where I paint my constellation. Oh, go hard. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, guess we'll use this. Save that. So the. The problem with using my Sunbless Vigor is, you know, now if they have another Withering Whale or Grass the Undying, something like that, I don't have. You know, if it's Grasp, I don't have the Sunbless Vigor to protect here. If it's... Okay, they're going to do that to make sure to heal their Nexus 3. The, the Go Hard put cards back into your deck and then also try to get rid of your deck. I don't know. This is a strange... Combination. So that doesn't kill them. If I pass, they probably just pass. Like, my best case scenario would be, like, I pass, they play something, I can cuss a palm and then I can attack for 12. They probably, like, if I'm them, I'm just passing. I'm definitely not playing anything. Because they know about this concussive palm in hand. So I guess we just kind of have to attack. And yeah, they just passed anyway. Um, I'll pass here. I guess Ruination's an option for next turn. If I if I play Robin, they go Ruination. Um, that would look kind of bad for me. Okay, so they're, they're still deep, so they're still going to be summoning a sea monster this next turn. Yep, there's the Ruination. Good thing we played around Ruination. So it's still looking pretty good for me. They're willing just to pass? Um, 
I mean, obviously I can try attacking, but, you know, a Vengeance. They go Vengeance, I guess I just have to go Homecoming. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, it could be another Ruination, could be a Vengeance. Yeah. That was the worst case scenario was Ruination, right? But at least I, I have four cards, they have three, even though I don't really have uh, too many good cards. Once I do have an additional card, then what what they have. Twenty-three. The dawn has arrived. Bask in the light's radiance. Done. You be stunned. Oh, that's two two blockers. Definitely the aggressive line to just play my Concussive Palm. Two cards left. I don't think they have a third Ruination. I was say, I thought, I thought like Withering Whale, Go Hard, Grass the Undying, all that kind of stuff would be more likely. Yeah, and then I was going to attack with everything because they'd have the two blockers. They block two things, and they should take the four damage. Ended up being pretty close. Oh, no. Aphelios. This may be our first time playing Aphelios today. We had done a really good job dodging Aphelios. But the party's over. Deny can counter moon weapons. It's not a good mana trade for me countering a moon weapon with it. Okay, I don't think I'll, I'm not gonna play my two drop on turn two. Probably gonna have Sleepy Trouble Bubble plus Paddle Star, so I can have five mana on turn three. Um, they can kill a turn three Aphelios. Can I? I go where the road takes me. So if I play Shield Bear, I have six mana. So that'd be enough for a Palm and a Vigor, but not a Paddle, you know, that and Paddle Star and Vigor. If I don't play Shield Bear, I got eight mana. I faced my fate. Your turn. I want to keep the eight mana available. Devotion to battle. We will resist. Sunward. It's a pretty good card to play because I don't want to. I don't really want to use a concussive palm on that, but I guess maybe I need to.
So it's still a 3-2 that, um, you know, kills their 3-2. Nine mana. So I have seven. My faith protects me. Father, who you we struck. Face your heretic. That's really too bad. It's a good bastion. Oh, I don't have the mana. I'm one short. From playing both of those. Okay. Let's do this. So it's either attack for nine, or I could play the shield bearer and Yasuo, and then also stun one thing with the sleepy trouble bubble. Um, that won't, I won't have the paddle star though, if I do that. Um, but you know, like I can go wider. I think I'll just attack for the nine. I don't know, it could it may be better to play out some stuff. Either way, our attack next turn looks pretty good either way. Because by... Yeah, see, they just throw this thing out there. By, by playing the other things, I would really put a lot of pressure on them. I'm basically just keeping three spell mana. Um... But I guess I, if I would have played Shield Bear, I could have gone Soldier plus Yone. But as you can see, I don't know if I really need to. I wish I would have played the other things first and not open attacked. Would have made them play like these other things. I would have traded with my three twos at the time. I gave them the ability to just play that everything gets plus two plus two. That makes all this damage, not kill stuff. All three wiggly burblefish. They still have five mana. <laughs> Just crazy. So we know three three of their four cards in hand are one mana spells. So they have, you know, like this is a new card. I think all three of these are one mana spells. And then so like they have, they have like three real cards. Well, that's not bad. That's a good look Amina. See, that's why we just play Amina. And that's why we play, you know, play a Yone that was pretty good last turn also. 
They're gonna grab Concussive Palm, I guess, right? That's... So Concussive Palm can take out one thing. Blocking can take out another. Pill Cascade, drawing Pill Cascade. Okay. That was a good win. They didn't cast the card Aphelios, and so that made our life a lot easier. Well, there we go. Good win. Lulu Fiora. I think this is my version of Lulu Fiora. This is. This is... Uh, this is Nathan. He's a stream viewer. Yeah, what's up, Nathan? Yeah, you're just Nathan. You're just watching my Lulu Fiora video. I just posted that Lulu Fiora video not that long ago, and you're just watching that. <laughs> yeah, so Nathan, Nathan's here in chat. It says, um. I prom like I was just literally just watching the Lulu Fiora video. I promise I won't ghost, but OMG, OMG, OMG. <laughs> Alright, so the soldier's gone. Alright, so basically I'm scared of I'm scared of both champions. And so I'm I'm holding on to Sleepy Trouble Bubble to try to stop a champion. So I can spend two, I, you know, I can spend a card basically to heal the Leona, like three. Strike while the planet's alive. The steel is yours. It's pretty rough so far. Steel Tempest is a good draw. It'd be nice to have a Yasuo. Yeah, Yasuo would be nice. I've got your back. And good hand. Mossy cards are awesome. Okay, that's a good draw. I can protect my Leona. We need Yasuo though, right? Like this this game would be a lot different. If this game could change. If I find Yasuo, this game could completely change. Taking nine currently. And maybe 
Maybe an infinite mind splitter soon. I can see infinite mind splitter doing some good work. Fuzzy caretaker. Fuzzy caretaker. What are we doing here? We have to try to not die. Um, Fuzzy Caretaker does make that more difficult because this is, you know, six. This is Caretaker attacks for six, right? So like that's that's a that's a really good card for Nathan to have. Like attacking for six is a ton. Not a good support with it though. Like it should it should be it should be supporting something smaller, not something larger, because um, you you don't want to make singular big big cards, you'd rather sp split it up, right? Instead of having a two and a six, like if, if this was just supporting like the War Chefs, for example, you could have had a, you know, a, a, a five and a three. And you'd rather have a five and a three than a two and a six. <clears throat> All right, but I will... Stun that. And do that. Okay. Good game. Everything I've worked for. Two and one. Yasuo, where were you? This is but one sunset. Yeah, Lulu Fiora is a really cool combination. <laughs> you had four repost in hand? That was your hand? You had four repost cause because of Fiora Champion spell? Wow, yeah, I was I was really dead. Alright, so we got Yasuo this time, so I like our chances a lot more. And looks like we're gonna be playing against an aggressive deck with Callista Elise. So we'll keep the one, two, three curve to go along with the Yasuo. Hand looks pretty good. Um. Clad in shining sunlight. She's gonna be so happy. Four carrots. I'm just killing that. Did slow down, like, Blighted Caretaker. You know, like, that just makes Blighted Caretaker a whole lot worse. And Blighted, like, we we don't look that good against Blighted Caretaker right now. Um, but getting rid of that does make our... our does make us look a lot better against Blighted Caretaker. Um, this is tough. Am I going to want a Meteor Shower? No, I'm going to take this Traveler. Hmm. That's not a card I was expecting. There's Caretaker. Well, I, I tried making... I should have taken... Because I wouldn't have been able to play Meteor Shower, but... I tried making myself better against Caretaker, but they had the Undying. That was not a card I, not a card I was expecting. He's a good Caretaker. We're a good deck against they who endure with all these stuns. Yuck. They missed. That's too bad. Ooh. 
got me. Black Spear is pretty awesome. This is a, this is a great Black Spear meta game. All the all the important Black Spear kills all the important champions. It's a really important card for Shadow Isles to be playing right now. And it looked really good there. Yeah, my Yasuo is still a two for one, um, but as you know, Yasuo is such an important card that two for one is something that you want to be better than. Dang, my opponents had some pretty poor luck. Maybe I shouldn't get Blackspeared again. Obviously, I have the Sunblast Vigor to protect, but I don't really want to mess with that if I don't have to. Um, I was considering using, because I had six mana there, I was considering using four of it to concuss a palm to Mistraith and kill the Mistraith. But killing stuff before they who endure is also not advisable. So they got another, so that thing hit Wraithcaller again. So while they've had some poor luck, they've also had some pretty good luck as well. Don't you always just wish you had one more mana than what you do? Okay. Because I, I did, wasn't going to be able to have Steel Tempest and Sun Bless Vigor available. The worst part about using that Homecoming right there is... Atrocity. You know, they play a big they who endure and then an atrocity. One blade, one purpose. They have to want to play they who endure right now. Oh, you think I should have Travelered instead? Maybe. I'm keeping my Infinite Mind Splitter available. Meteor Shower would, would have been better to play. But I wasn't going to tap under Infinite Mind Splitter. Nopeify. I need, I need Deny, not Nopeify. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have used the Homecoming, should I? I should have just used Concussive Palm again. This is a difficult game, Legends of Runeterra. It's a, it's a really fun one. But sometimes you make the wrong call. And I, I knew about They Who Endure Atrocity the whole time, and I just played right into it. Still. I couldn't cast Homecoming, and yet I did. Atrocity. So right now, an attack 
is only doing 12 damage. Yeah. We know that they... I guess, yeah, I have to attack. We know that they have the um, ephemeral 4-3 uh, that puts a Mistwraith into play, that card. So playing anything first, and then they play that card. Um... Makes my attack a lot worse, so I guess we have to attack. Is there any reason to not open? Because the reason to not open is I don't have lethal right now, and I can I can you know like play some other cards and try and you know like like kill Elise and then have concussive palm and try to kill them this turn. That'd be the reason to not open. Would be trying to kill them. Wow, they did have Ruination. I was not going to play around Ruination. I didn't... I didn't... Yeah, I didn't think they would have it. And I thought that, you know, like with playing, even playing the Robin, I thought that if they did have Ruination... Like, even if I don't play Robin, I thought that if they did have Ruination, I was going to be in a lot of trouble. Anyway, so I did, did not play around Ruination at all. I made a constant con conscious decision not to play around Ruination. Steel Tempest this turn. Which means I go down to 5 mana. And so I play this 5-4. And so I have a 3-2 and a 5-4. And then next turn I go Golden Sister and Concussive Palm. Yeah. I guess there's no reason to block. One, two, three, four, five. Comet would not save us from atrocity because Comet is slow speed. They would just respond to atro. They would respond to Comet with atrocity. Oh no no! no I meant to play this thing. No 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 no. Okay, thank you. Uh, but now I kind of need to deny that. What do you cost? You cost four mana. Yeah, I, I need to deny it. This is it. Will we win or lose? Oh! Three bodies in one? We lose. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. So that was a bad attack with that 3-2. I thought we had this right here. You know, like, with the going wide. Like, that was, like, my plan. Go wide here. I thought... I thought we would have had this. Um, looks like... That was, a, that was obviously a bad attack with that 3-2. Wow. Why did Caretaker... 
Deep Meditation, that's a clutch draw. Hush and Homecoming, I need one more mana! Uh, I need one more mana. Why'd they have to draw another... They wonder. I know old hush. Unnerfed hush. Change the game. Yes, the three attacking with the three two was definitely incorrect. But even if I did not attack with the three two, I still lose that game. Like that that doesn't change the game. Man, like these Yasuo decks are really hard to play. You know, like I. I went really aggressive by playing, like, basically I went really aggressive by casting the Concussive Palm to try to have the attack and kill them. If I just don't, if I don't cast that Concussive Palm, then, you know, like, the next turn we have the Concussive Palm to stun, and, like, we're okay. And then my Elusive kills them over two turns. I I should have just protected more. Yeah, so decks are hard. Okay. I'm, I need to look for Yasuo, right? Like, we need a mulligan pretty hard looking for Yasuo. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we, we're going to be dead before Mina to Elusives. Like, they, they kill us before turn 9. There's You can't keep Mina. Like, if we keep Mina, we, you know, then, like, if we draw, like, some other top-end cards, we could, we could just be dead. I guess I discard Mind Splitter. Could see discarding Deep Meditation instead. I don't know if we'll have time to cast Deep Meditation. Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Could have attacked with the 1-1 one, one and tried to trade with our 2-1, but the two, this 2-1 two being a... It's, it's good for me to have both of these in play, then have neither in play. Uh, mostly because... If they, they go wide with elusives, like the 2-1 kind of takes up a spot on their board. That's what I'm thinking there. Where is our Yasuo? I know, right? We need Yasuo and Treat. Like, we, we're we trying to play and Treat. We have uh, the three mana Daybreak card that can create the four mana Celestial card that is in Treat. Gotta go with the flow. We're trying over here. It ain't easy. It ain't easy drawing Yasuo in a Yasuo deck. Clad in shining sunlight. We will not. They will not escape punishment. Punishment. Keep up, keep up. Forcing them to, if they want to block, they have to block with elusives.
All right, it's a mystic shot that's not going at me. And made them use a lot of their mana also with them having all these fleeting cards. They have less mana now for them. I don't know what this card is. What is this? Four mana champion. All right, so that's one of the two fleeting cards. They still have two other fleeting cards. So I don't think they'll have the mana for suit up. So I th I think Concussive Palm will kill one of their purple fishes. Um, this may maybe it's better to Homecoming than Concussive Palm. Why would you vulnerable this 2-2 soldier and not the 3-2? I mean, they, they just must not want to attack into my 2-2. Yeah, they just don't even want to attack into it, so. So if I go, if I do the concussive palm, then I'm, then, then I'm attacking right away. It's just always, yeah. So if they if they have a get excited, I lose. It's just always three burble fish. That's you know three free burble fish. Is hard is difficult to defeat. Stop. There you go. That's too bad. It's too bad. That's too bad. Keep moving on. I will be very happy with a burble fish nerf. So I was thinking about like what to do about burble fish. You know, someone was like, like how how would you nerf burble fish? Um couple of things like some, some, some saying like you just make it 10 mana right like with um like the other cards like your scuttle geist and things like that like they cost 10 mana right like so i guess that so that would kind of make sense that it, it costs 10 instead of six you could that wouldn't be too bad um yeah i i i'm also right there with you dm della like right like well it's it's pretty easy to get zero mana with this thing as we see in these games and then the fact that it also creates a spell like it still creates card advantage also um that's really silly so i think they want it to be a cheap elusive but they also don't want it to be played early right so like that's that's like the thinking behind this card is make it a elusive that doesn't cost a lot of mana but you kind of have to work for it and it's not like you can't like play it on like turn two or turn three really right like so it, i think that's like the thinking behind this card I, I could see my my suggestion for this card because I I just don't like things that cost zero mana. I think that that really messes up just the game in general. I just I don't like things that cost zero mana. But hey, what if what if Wiggly Burblefish said what if it was? I think this would still be a fair card. It costs three mana. This would make it a more fair card. It can still create the spell, but it costs three mana. Um, but of course, if it, if it costs three mana, you'd say, well, you could just play it on turn three. You got a three, one elusive on turn three, 
but have it have it have the statement instead of this statement it says um can't be cast unless you have cast three plus spells this game right so you have to play three spells first and then once you play three spells then you have a three mana three one elusive that makes another spell so they always cost three mana so you can't just you can't just vomit out a whole bunch of verbal fishes in one turn because they they cost three mana Like it's easier, it, it's easier to, to play them, and then you have like some, you have some like synergy there with like three mana, three one, play three spells to play it. Um, I think that would be a better design for this kind of card. Um, I, I think that's a better design. The the whole six mana, and then it's just free after six spells, which is which is really easy to to get to six spells. Right, it's it's that's not a difficult thing. You know, you have what you have like Plaza Guardian, ten mana reduced my cost by one for each spell you cast this game. Right, like I could see that with Burblefish also being ten mana. Right, like it's Burblefish is arguably a better card being a three one elusive that also creates a card that's better than a six six quick attack. Right, like a, a six six quick attack, you just get to block pretty easily. It's a lot harder to block a three one elusive plus the three one elusive gets you another card i mean they're they're very comparable and so one cost six one cost ten but they're very comparable in in power level especially when you're talking about like a iterative improvement and everything like that so i could just see it going to ten you know like fear, five five fearsome this is it's a lot a lot more difficult to have an ally die this game <laughs> so that's a lot more difficult than just to cast a spell um i mean i think purple fish is like just as good as these cards and these cards cost ten um, Arbor of the Peak, again, cost 10, 6-6 six, six Overwhelm. Um, you know, like, it's really difficult to have this clause in here. I think Burble Fish could cost 10. I think you, you could do that, too, if you want to. I think it could just go with, like, Bilgewater's version of these cards. So that's something they could think about doing is just bumping... Uh, that's the other thing they could think about doing is just buffing it up to 10 mana. I know a 3-1 body is smaller than, you know, 6-6s six, and 5-5s five, and stuff, but Elusive is such is elusive is the best keyword in the game right like elusive is just much more powerful than any of these other keywords um overwhelm is similar but elusive is the best keyword and also it creates another card as well none of these create a card either and then and then also it, it's still even at 10 mana it still would be the easiest one to re get the cost reduction right it's more difficult for any of these other cost reductions than just playing spells i mean i guess plaza guardian is the same but um yeah so i i think uh, I would be, I mean, I think Aphelios, Burblefish, those are two cards I would be very happy with them nerfing. And, and those are two two options that I, that I kind of suggest. Maybe make it 10, like all those other cards cost 10, or make it just a 3 mana 3-1 three, that you can only cast if, um, if you have played 3 plus spells this game. I think that could be another way to do it. So it's not just um, 0 mana 3-1s. Okay, so we're going to have, um, all right, so that, that's our Yasuo Leona deck. Our deck actually felt pretty good for a Yasuo deck. I liked it. It was, I know we went two and three, but we, we had a whole lot of really close games, and um, it's a difficult deck to play. I think that, um, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, and I think that there's different decisions I could have maybe made in some of those games to pull out wins instead of losses. Um, this is a this is a difficult one to play. It's It's one that I wasn't necessarily the most comfortable with and and that's the other thing is like playing like i liked i liked all of our one-ups though right like i think that it was nice having a notify um at different times it was nice having a hush or a sun bless figure or a bat, you know right like these were really good one-ups but also having one-ups does make it more difficult to play too because you have a lot of different cards in hand and so you have a lot of different lines you can take um so that that does up the difficulty of the deck even more but if you try this deck out hopefully you draw your yasuos um but i i liked i liked our list i think this was a good solid yasuo leona list so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and and give it a try if you want to try out yasuo give it a try and give me that feedback let me know what you think of the list and uh, how it's going or if you have a yasuo leona deck that you're playing and ranked and having success with feel free to leave a comment about it and let us know and let us you know tell us about it let me know let us know like how uh how you're playing the two champions 
and uh, everything like that. How do you kill Aphelios with this kind of deck and things like that? All right, but that's all I got here for Yasuo Leona. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.